Hi guys, if you don't already know what's going on, a bunch of kids in Delhi were found with a group chat on Instagram in which they degraded women in every way possible. They objectified them, body shamed them, humiliated them, edited their images, as well as shared private conversations and private photos. They also made plans to rape. Now, in those photos were photos of women that are underage, which means that's child porn. So what these people are doing is not only morally incorrect, but also illegal under IP section 292-293. Now, after being caught, these people have actually decided not to admit they're doing anything wrong, but further threatened to kill, humiliate, and rape the girls who exposed them. While those girls are busy dealing with all of that legally, since now the Delhi police is involved, I would like to take my time to discuss all of the questions that you guys might have. One comment I've been seeing a lot is based around victim blaming, which we all know we're really good at. I didn't realize we were all sitting around reviewing a Gidda performance. Is that what we're doing? If not, then it's not equivalent to all of the disgusting things that took place in that group chat. So that is cancelled. Then there are also people saying, Rip kia to nahi na? Ununa rip kia? Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't realize you wanted us to come and watch. So what you're saying is you wanted us to wait until it had already happened and then for us to join you and say, Tali ek khat se nahi bachti. Jad rip ho janda When the rape is already done, we say rip kaise ho gaya? Aise ho gaya. Aapki aankho ke saamne ho gaya. Then you say, Larki ne kya pehna da? Ah, makes sense. Kahan ghum ri di? Of course. Rip aise ho gaya. <laughs> Nain, rip aise ho gaya. Another really good one, and by good I mean disgusting and shameful, are the comments claiming that these two girls are doing all of this for fame and attention. One, they were already famous before all of this happened. Two, I think you may be too young to use social media, or you just don't realize the difference between you and the girls. Whatever their reason may be, they're still standing up for what's right. And they're really standing up for what's right. And what you're doing is sitting there diverting attention from what's actually happened just to speak up against these girls. So I think you may need to reevaluate where you come from and what you stand for. This one I actually personally got as well. People were saying to me, it javakne, they're kids. These are the same kids that threatened other kids that they will rape them if they don't send them nudes. What's your point? If you misbehave, you deal with the consequences. There's also people defending them by saying that everyone has these group chats. I would like to personally say, I don't have a group chat in which we degrade men or women. I don't have a group chat where we degrade men or women. I don't have a group chat in which we degrade men or women. I don't have a group chat in which we degrade men or women. I am not in a group chat in which we degrade men or women. I don't have a group chat in which we degrade men or women. Not in a group which tries to defame a woman or a man. I don't have any group chat in which we degrade men or women. I don't have a group chat in which we degrade men or women. We definitely don't have a group chat where we degrade men or women. And if you are in a group chat in which stuff like this happens or you know other people that are in these group chats, you are in the wrong environment and you need to remove yourself immediately. Not just from the group chat, but from being around these people that share this stuff. And just because you haven't said anything in the group chat or you haven't shared anything, doesn't mean you are not a part of the problem. You are also a part of the problem for encouraging this and not stopping it. Lastly, but not the least, because I'm Indo-Australian and live in Australia, but still speak up about issues happening in India, I get a lot of not all Indians comments. I would sure hope not, and I also don't think it's all Indians. But this is your time to shine. I would love to see how India reacts to this. I would love to see what you guys are doing. Are you creating awareness for what's right? Are you educating people around you and spreading good information? Or are you victim blaming? Are you standing up for what's right? Or are you diverting attention from what's actually happened, sitting there doing nothing but criticizing the people that are doing something? I would love to see how India reacts to this. Because of course it's not all Indians, but we need enough Indians doing the right thing.